Uh, some grade 7 and grade 8 uh, students from Glen Ames Senior Public School on the Beaches recently placed a uh, second out of 80 teams that design genius robots. And I was kidding before the break. I said they're all robots. No. Only one of these kids is a robot, and we'll explain afterwards. So, uh, what we're going to do with poor Coco here, we're not going to hurt Coco, right? No, no. not oh, at okay, all. Okay, good. All right. So, uh, Elizabeth Forche and Robbie Carey are going to be our spokespeople for the team. What's the idea of this contraption here, Elizabeth? Well, the idea of our feeder is to get dogs to be really healthy. So uh, we s surveyed um, dog owners in our community because a lot of people have dogs in Toronto. And in the beaches? Yes. Especially in the You're beaches. You're not allowed to live in the beaches unless you have a dog. It's a rule. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so since there were so many dogs, we decided, hey, we should do our project okay. on a dog. And what most owners don't know is that they're either underfeeding or overfeeding their dog. Uh -huh. Like a lot of owners do that. So our goal was to help the owner and get the dog to their correct amount. So And that's why you called your group the positive proportionists. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Uh, were you do you guys get kind of a little nervous and intimidated when you went up against 80 teams? You, you came in what you came in second? Yeah. It, but were you, when you got there, were you kind of like, oh my gosh? Well, yeah, definitely. When we saw all of the other robots that other teams have created, we got really intimidated because ours was very small and compact. And then we looked at another table, and it was just so large that it was, it was just shocking. And this is made out of Lego. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, okay, so let's, let's do something here. Like, what, what are we going to do? Uh, we're actually going to give you a demo of okay. what this machine does. Okay. All right, here we go. Coco. Now, it depends on whether Coco is going to be cooperative, right? Exactly. Hello, Coco. Okay, so what do we do now? So now the door will automatically open. Okay, when, so when Coco is ready for food, yeah. the door opens. Hello, Coco. Come on. I don't, <laughs> I don't blame you, Coco. Come on, Coco. <laughs> so okay. just in case, we brought, we brought a stand-in robotic dog. Yeah. Don't fall. All right. Good fall. Okay, now what's it going to do? In a moment, it will dispense the food from this here. Okay. And wait a second or two to dispense. A watch pot. There, oh, there, there we go. go. So, so you, this is specially measured. Yes, because right now uh, we had to have some food in there right now because um, basically we didn't want the dog to, we wanted the dog to have a little food to go in there. So yeah. that's the proper amount of food. All right. Uh, let's introduce the rest of your team. You, uh, so who's who's who here? All right. What's your name? Brendan Galley. And. Dax Palavi. Aiden Birch. And. Satcha Bar. And poor Coco. Can we can you get Coco, <laughs> get Coco some food? Yeah. Reach in and get Coco some. Coco, I would I wouldn't go I wouldn't I wouldn't go on, on television either. Coco, what's going on? There we go. Now can we can we is the next thing to teleport her, maybe back to to the school. That, that would be a really cool invention. That would, that's next. I think that's, that's a couple years ahead. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we are so proud of you. I think it's absolutely fantastic uh, what you do. Uh, and is this going to be is this going to be something maybe that you're going to pursue as far as a career goes, maybe, Elizabeth? I mean, we obviously want to pursue this idea, but uh, so what our goal is to get a patent so we could get this in the markets and actually help oh, okay. uh, our community and dog owners across Toronto or even farther. Which is definitely a goal for us, but right now we don't have the money. <laughs> well, we are proud of you. Thank you so much for joining us here. And say hi to everybody at uh, Glen Ames this morning. All right.